is 250 grams of steak. Got this really thin kind of sandwichy steak. 100 grams of mixed veggies here, and 20 grams of almond butter. So that's what we got. And I'm gonna throw on some YouTube and then eat this up. And then on to my next meal. All right, so uh, my second meal, and this has been a lifesaver for me, a uh, smooth meal. There's a local company here that's been taking care of my meals. <clears throat> and I got, um, I can see it, like little 250 grams of uh, paddock. What is this thing zoom in? We had 250 grams of haddock, 100 grams of um, green beans, and then I'm gonna... Coach is giving me some carbs for my workout. So today I get uh, just 100 and um, just 110 grams of uh, rice pre and post workout, that's it. And I'll be only change other than that. Everything else is just fats and protein. And, uh, and veg. So, gonna plop this in here. Give it a mix up. Drain this water, because I hate water. you guys but I love avocados. They're a lifesaver. And then I'll dice up <clears throat> the greens. Usually what I'll do is I'll reheat this all on the, on the uh, stove, but I am fucking exhausted right now, man. So I'm just going to eat this as is in this container here. I love mushing this together, man. It's so good. <clears throat> I'm going to mix that like that. Mix it all together. Cut up these veggies. <clears throat> Let's make it one big concoction. One big grimy bowl. I'll show it to Regan Grimes. These grimy bowls. 
is similar to it, but it's not in a bowl. So, got it all mixed up there. salt your food, especially if you do a lot of cardio. I see a lot of guys, they don't want to salt their stuff. I wonder why they're cramping up all the time. They want to avoid holding water. It's like, listen, you're going to get rid of the water show day anyway, so. I got some walnut farms on here. No calories in this, which is pretty dope. That's that. That's my second meal. I can take this, my multivitamins, and all that good stuff, and that'll be that. And then I'm gonna take a nap because I'm tired. So, base. I put in this into my, with my best PCAs, my BPI. And what it does is a fiber supplement. It helps with digestion. Um, I'm a nutritionist and a strength conditioning coach, and people know how crucial it is to make you know to having a smoothly running digestive system. If you ever want to know if you're having a bad day, people who aren't competing. If you want to know if you're having if you're having a bad day, whatever, look back and see what you're eating. See how your digestion is moving around, and I can guarantee you that's linked to have your feeling in your day. Anyway. So, I'm going to finish drinking this and eating this. I don't want to take a nap because I'm just I'm tired, man. I'm so tired. Um, we, we open up uh, this week we started our training with all the trainers and everything else, so I get a busy week ahead of me. So these days I have time to rest. I'm gonna take those, take the time and rest. Uh, I was talking to my boy James Holmes, and the big thing he said this year was resting as much as he could when he had the time, so um, I'm gonna do that. Let me eat up. I'll talk to you guys later. See you at meal three. Those will be my pre workout. Pre workout meal. You have 250 grams of chicken, um, 20 grams of uh, almond butter, and it's supposed to have 110 grams of rice, but I have any rice cooked, but I have rice cakes. So this is the equivalent of 110 grams of rice. Minus me, well, like five calories, ask with the same uh, macro um, breakdown here. So, and then my pre workout. Boop. I'm gonna eat this and then uh, head to the gym and train chest. Alright, so um, we are three weeks out. Monday, chest today. Um, I was about to do chest today. I was talking to Matt this morning and I was like, you know, um, I'm gonna you know, come in. I'll look as heavy as I can, but again, I'm gonna get the wraps up to you know, 50 20 reps. He's like, you know what, don't do that. Don't change anything. Keep lifting heavy. Keep the same thing we've been doing before. Just to keep the muscle, you know, full. And I'm like, good, I'm glad he said that because I was about to come in here and not really dog it, but, you know, um, the intensity would have been down a little bit. So the goal today is obviously to keep things going, you know. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to hit a PR. You know, I don't have the energy. The, I will drop another two pounds. Um, the weight's at 234 this morning. It was at 237 on Saturday. So uh, um, we're going to keep it going. We're going to do a flat Smith machine. Uh, if, this was, if this was earlier in the season, I would be on uh, 
I'd be doing a free rate. But now, you know, it's a little safer having the Smith machine here and being able to just, you know, press as much as I can and be able to just rack it when I can. So, um, I'm going to start over here. Um, I'm going to do my first warm set and keep warming up. I'm going to get to a uh, max two um, failing sets, eight reps, and then I'm going to do a back off set. So, let's get it going. There, get over out to um, seated uh, cable flies and dips, and uh, finish off with some triceps. So I say some triceps, like I'm winging, it. I ain't winging shit. Big thing, man. You want to make sure you log in your weight. A lot of guys want to say they, they train instinctively and all that bullshit. You got to make sure you got a plan of action. Log your shit so you know how good you're getting, how much you're progressing, how strong you're getting. You know, if you have something to always gauge, if you have anything to gauge, how do you know you're making progress? It's like dieting, same thing. 
If you're gonna diet and you're gonna count calories, doesn't it make sense to make sure you count everything? You know, rest, cardio, calories, you know what I'm saying? So you wanna make sure that you're always documenting so you know what to refer to, where you can work, what you can work on, you know, what, what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are. You wanna know everything. This sport is finite. It's math, it's chemistry, it's biology, it's physics. None of those things you can go to school with and wing it. You gotta be able to know exactly what you're doing, when you're doing it, how you're doing it, and what you're doing. So, get your shit done, write your weights down, you know, document your progress. Document your food, get a food journal, get a weight journal, get all journals of the world, get a mind journal. Write down your thoughts if you have to. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, on to the next one. <sighs> Fucking dying. Let's get it.
it. Done. Cardio's done. Legs done. Legs, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm out of it, man. All finished up, chest, triceps, and cardio. Get at home now. Actually, got to go to the bank. And get that finished. That's it. Good day. Hard day. 18 days out. And 25 days out. Nuts. Time is flying by. <laughs> That's it, man. Lifesaver. Oh, that's good. It's good stuff. Anyway, I go to the bank. And then head home, see my little girl, see my wife. The best part of the day, really. When it's all said and done, that's my reward every single day. This. Yeah, that's it, man. All done. Groundhog Day. And then we be off to doing the same thing tomorrow. Cardio in the AM. Weights in the PM and more cardio, and that's it. Thank you for following. Thank you for support. Make sure you subscribe and follow the uh, the progress as we continue to go and get this done. Peace.